This video was created to support health professionals talking to Aboriginal women about alcohol in pregnancy. I think it's really important as part of um, practice when working with Aboriginal women um, regarding pregnancy that we actually you know, build that rapport and provide them with um, additional information that they can take home with them. Uh, it could be a form of brochures or other information that's uh, provided in um, culturally appropriate language. Um, everybody has really different literacy levels, so sometimes it's really worth talking through whatever you provide them with and making sure that they have your contact number and that they're really welcome to contact you at any time if they have any concerns or come back and see you as well. Um, I believe health professionals, um, in regards to the asking questions about um, alcohol or other substances during pregnancy, it should be um, non-judgmental, supportive and gentle really. Drinking alcohol during pregnancy can cause fetal alcohol spectrum disorders or FASD. Uh, culturally safe care, um, I believe is, you know, where a uh, young mum can walk into a health service and be comfortable um, and being supportive by a caring GP or health professional um, during her pregnancy. Hi Cassandra, it's lovely to see you again. How's the family? They're good, thank you. That's great. What brings you back here today? Pregnant again. Oh wow, that's really exciting. How have you been feeling? I've been feeling alright. Oh, that's great to hear. So I don't know if you'll remember from last time, but we ask people when they're pregnant lots of different questions about your health to, um, to get a bit of an idea of where you're up to um, so that we can provide you with the best possible care for yeah. you and, and for your baby so that you have the best pregnancy possible. So there's a couple of questions that I'd like to ask you if that's all right. Yeah. It's just so that we can plan what you need to happen to support you the best way that we can. Mm -hmm. So Cassandra, how often would you have a, a drink containing alcohol? Well, um, in my first pregnancy, I would, uh, after work, I would uh, have a bottle of vodka with my girlfriends um, mm -hmm. until I had found out I was pregnant and I had been drinking for seven weeks. So, and I immediately stopped then. As we know, you know, we don't know what's safe um, with alcohol during pregnancy. Um, it can cause a range of problems for babies, and you're doing the best thing possible for your baby and for your own health by not drinking while you're pregnant. So Cassandra, if you were still drinking, how many drink, standard drinks do you think that you would have in a typical day? I'm having no drinks this time round. Um, I've learnt from my previous pregnancy, um, so there's just no alcohol consumption at all, and I'm glad I know now. That's fantastic. You're doing the best possible thing for yourself and for your new baby as well. So when you were drinking, would you have drunk more than five or more drinks on one session? Well, I haven't been consuming any alcohol because I've been breastfeeding, so... Uh, I don't drink at all. So you've made huge changes in your life by, by making that decision to stop and it was the best possible decision that you could have made for your baby. It's never too late to stop drinking alcohol when you're pregnant and it's really important to not drink again while you're breastfeeding as well. When a pregnant woman drinks, the alcohol sits in the amniotic fluid. It isn't metabolised and is re-swallowed by the foetus. The child born with FASD may have retarded growth birth defects and facial deformities. More often, children born with FASD have brain impairments with a range of developmental, behavioural and mental disorders. The disabilities associated with FASD are permanent but preventable. And the best advice is no alcohol is the best choice when trying to get pregnant, pregnant or breastfeeding. I've come to know this service um, through um, uh, my sister-in-laws that have um, showed me the health service system. Um, for me, it's about um, cultural awareness um, and feeling comfortable so that um, I don't feel judged and um, that it's just comfortable for me and that I can go back into my community and tell my friends and my family that, hey, this service is very supportive um, and that um, in that'll encourage them to engage when they're they need to seek help and support as well. I had a privilege of working with a health service many years ago and whilst working in that health service I had the opportunity to advocate for many Indigenous families and communities 
And I guess having that cultural safety component in the environment, it has to be spiritual and socially, emotionally safe for our, co our communities, our people to access. And developing a trust towards, you know, the Indigenous person to access the service, make it feel cu culturally safe, uh, experiencing uh, the learning together in the knowledge that you're listened to and respecting us to feel like we are able to access that service comfortably. One way to assess a pregnant woman's alcohol consumption and the risk for her foetus is to use the Audit C tool, which you can find in the Advising Aboriginal Women about alcohol and pregnancy resource. By asking three simple questions, you can measure the amount and frequency of the woman's drinking and score her answers. Using the score, you can assess the level of risk and provide appropriate advice. You will find this resource and a range of other alcohol in pregnancy resources to order or download at www.yourroom.com.au.